Hello. We welcome you to another conversation with an artist. We are down at the Wichita Falls Art Association Gallery on 8th in Ohio. And I said Wichita Falls. That also means that I want to thank the city of Wichita Falls for supporting all the endeavors that the Art Association does. Now, we're going to talk to Becky Reeder, who I just met last week, so I don't know anything about her. So, Becky, tell me and the audience who you are. Well, um, I am fairly new to Wichita Falls. Uh, we have been here right at a year. Uh, originally, I come from the Midwest, from Kentucky, Indiana area, uh, and we moved to Texas about 10 years ago, uh, and just been in Wichita Falls for a year. So I was glad to come and find the arts and how much it is supported by the community and the organizations. I need to help along, don't I? <laughs> so what led you to become an artist? Oh gosh, well I think I knew for a long time that art was my thing, probably from a very young age. And I can remember even noticing things um, in nature that other people wouldn't notice. You know, I was the kid that just stared at the clouds and made pictures in the clouds. and. Uh, so I stayed with the arts uh, for the first couple years in art school in college, uh, and then I chickened out a little bit. Uh, had a hard time seeing how it would be, you know, fit in as a career. Uh, but through a lot of twists and turns in life, uh, I have been doing art now for uh, the past few years, and it has really been a great thing to be back at painting. So you paint. Uh Here's some of her examples. What would you like people to know about what you do and like tell them about your media? Okay, well, um, I paint in oil uh, and I really enjoy the challenge of oil and the fluidity of it. Uh, it allows me to make some mistakes and correct those as I go. Uh, it just has a richness that I really enjoy. Uh, obviously, I'm inspired by uh, nature love to spend time outdoors and um, a lot of my paintings uh, have inspiration from uh, Kentucky uh, but I am learning and have painted uh, a few scenes here in Texas uh, including the hay bales and also this valley scene uh, are both inspired from a trip that I made uh, to Fredericksburg uh, a couple years ago and so uh, I just love being outdoors and it's what really creation uh, and our creator is what inspires me to paint and hope that people, uh, when they view it, uh, are able to look outside of themselves and see something bigger. Now, when she said landscape, I've, I've seen this piece before, it's really unique, but I didn't know that, obviously it's an apple, it's a weird apple, but each one of these has a landscape painted on it. Right, and the alternating is a cloudscape. Oh, golly, yeah. okay. That's why you talk to an artist to find out what's going <laughs> on. Uh, so what would you like people to know about your art? I know it's coming up close to Christmas and you also make some cards. There's yes. gifts down here, but tell us a little bit about what you want people to know about what you do. Um, well, I think, uh, so leading up, uh, I did leave art school, but I ended up in interior design school. And so I'm very inspired not only by nature, but also our interior environment. And I want people to be able to bring art into their home and into their lives and walk by it on the wall and be inspired. And as they walk out the door, have something with them, uh, whether it's an art piece that represents, in this case, is a scripture, uh, or if it's just walking outside and seeing uh, the gift that we have been given in nature, I want people to bring that into their homes. Um, so my art is for sale, I create uh, prints that are fine art prints, which means they're archival, they're not going to fade, they're very high quality, uh, they do make great gifts. Um, and then I have this set of cards, uh, which is actually a set of five different paintings that I have done, and inside each card, uh, it's, it's blank, aside from one scripture verse that relates to the painting. All right. As you know, there's not enough time to find out who these people are, but you get a taste of them. You can have that on your wall at home and say, I can tell you something about the artist. I've talked with the artist. 
So, once again, it's Christmas time. Come down, get some gifts, support your local artist. You can buy something on Amazon anytime. That's right. But you can only get one of a kind art once a time. Becky, thank you very much. Thank you, Bob. Uh, if you see her out on the street, ask her, ask her what the scripture is. I didn't ask because you're going to have to ask her because I'm going to ask her when I'm we turn this off. <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks, Sherry Lane, for helping us do this. She's behind the scenes, but she's there all the time. Y'all have a great day. Have a great Christmas.